someone asked me what the tool was that I used to add different uh, networks to MetaMask. Uh, this was the tool that I was using the other day. I couldn't find it on stream and, uh, on the fly, but if you wanted to use it, chainless.wtf will allow you to add any network to a, to your MetaMask account uh, just at the click of a button without having to manually input the, the network information. Uh, if you are looking to play with alternative networks during this bear market, um, it's really cheap and easy to do so in a bear market. I would highly recommend grabbing this chain list and look at all these different chains. There, there's test nets on here too, so not all of them are obviously um, main layer one networks, but go check them out. They, this is a great resource for just scrolling through and looking what all is out there. And it's, it's kind of mind blowing when you scroll. I mean, look at this. These are all networks <laughs> that you can add to MetaMask and go play around with. And there's really cool stuff happening on all of them. And the easiest way to sort through this and pick which ones you want to play with uh, would be just to go to DeFi Llama. Uh, go to DeFi Llama, poke around and look at the total value locked in uh, the DeFi charts here. You can go to BSC, you can go to Tron, you can see exactly how much TVL is locked in there, how much total uh, change in the volume and the market cap. Uh, just poke around at these. And if you see a network that's gaining a little momentum and traction and you want to go see why, uh, definitely go po poke around at these charts and look. And if you start seeing a bit of an uptick in activity, everything's down. There's like no uptick. Um, but this is a really good way to do it. And you can go take a look and be like, oh, okay, well, what's parallel and you can be like sure let's go check out parallel and just pop right on over and uh let's see let's see if we can 